Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Made by Honey. So here we go. We're going to do a stag episode today. We have the stag junior bottle or regular stag nowadays. It's a batch 18 coming in at 131 proof. We'll open this one up. I haven't opened it up. So we'll open it up and see how it tastes. And I'll give you all my thoughts are at the end. And after that, we'll compare it with another Buffalo Trace product. That's pretty popular. The Colonel E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Patch 12. Now I'll tell you in a second why I'm comparing with this one, but it's another favorite bottle. I've reviewed it a couple episodes ago. So we'll compare it side by side with that bottle. I'll let you know what my thoughts are between those two. Which one is a better one? Which one's a better choice? So let's get right to it, guys. Can't wait to open it up. Couple quick things about this Stag Junior Batch 18. I think there are three batches coming out these days. For 2023, there were 23A, B, and C. So three times a year comes out. Before that though, it used to come out twice a year and there were no batch numbers in the front. So only way to find out what batch it was, you were able to sort of find that out by looking at the proof. In this case, it's 131 proof, which indicates that it's a batch 18. Now batch 18 is the one right after they changed the name to just regular Stag. It used to be called Stag Juniors to have a JR right after the stag. So when batch 18 came out, it was the first batch that got rid of the junior tag and no longer plays second fiddle to its, its big brother, George T. Stag, the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, the unicorn bourbon. So no longer it plays the second fiddle. Now it's just called a stag. Feel free to comment on the comment section if I'm wrong, but I think the juice, the whiskey itself, didn't change at all. It's just the junior tag came after that got removed. That's all the change that was. But I remember specifically when this came out that people were saying, hey, this one isn't as good. This one doesn't taste as good as, you know, batch 17 or 16 or 15 or one now. Now, I don't know how much truth there is to that. Personally, I've tasted multiple batches of stag and they're all good and they're all consistent. I, it's, there's no stag that I've tasted, I think five or six batches I've tasted that I thought, oh my goodness, this one is not a good one. Not even once, and I'm, most people would agree to that. So that's the story of the Stag Batch 18. Got my hands on this bottle. Um, got it for I think 69 or $79 at Beth more randomly. These usually go for, you know, $250 or $300 at liquor stores or secondary markets, but I was able to get it at MSRP, so I'm pretty fortunate to, to do that. Gonna give it a little pour, a little swirl. and see where it goes. The color is really, really yellowish golden. Very golden. The whiskey itself is very viscous, just by looking at it. All right, let's go for the nose first. It smells very sweet, but at the same time, very citrusy. Like fresh cut lemons. Obviously the vanillas and caramels are there. It actually smells pretty delicious. All right, let's get a swig. Cheers, guys. Ooh, there's that little burn. There's that burn. Ooh, for sure, it drinks at its proof, 131. Maybe it's the first drink of the day and then that's why it's burning me, but, oh, it's, it's hot. It's pretty hot, but it's not unpleasantly hot. It's not thing I can't handle. I expected it to be hot and, I, and it's hot and it's not overly hot. So that's that. Let's take another sip first. It's like coffee-ish bitter note hits the palate. The sweets, the vanillas and the caramel and the maple syrup. It's all coming here. It's all staying here. That slight oak presence is very noticeable from the beginning. And the burn is there, but burn sort of plateaus. Yeah, it goes out real fast. And it doesn't peak, but it sort of plateaus and gently declines. It stays in the mouth unless you enjoy all those flavors as it declines. And the mouthfeel is just magnificent. It's just so good. It sort of reminds me of, I guess, the GTS, the, the, the George T. Stag, the finish and the, the mouthfeel of it. It's very viscous, very rich. And the flavor just lasts and lasts. This is a good batch. I, I you know, I had a lot of batches. The most recent one I had is 23C, which is a little bit lower proof on this, but you know, I think this one is a better one than 23C. 
Um, I might have to go back to back, but it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's slightly bitter right when it hits the tongue. That slight bitter oak doesn't let you forget it. And that, that aroma of a little bit of fruit mixed with all the sweets and the thickness of the molasses and, and caramel, it just stays in there. It's still in here. It's still in there. It's just tingling. It's just tingling. Still tingling. And I love that. I love that experience. The mouthfeel, the finish, it doesn't let you down. It doesn't let you down at all. It's still here. Slight burn coming down. Slight burn here, but it's not, you know, it's not unpleasant at all. Man, what a bourbon. What a bourbon this stag is. One last sip, and let's move on. There's some spices coming up, some baking spices. Uh, cinnamon, allspice, allspice is a better one. Allspice is on peppery. Pepperiness just lingering, but just a lot of sweets. And that it's cody and just creamy. I love that. It's still here and it won't leave. It won't leave. For $60, it, this one is a hard to beat bourbon. It's absolutely sublime. It's absolutely satisfying. It doesn't give you any hint of, oh, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. It gives you everything from front to back all throughout. It's a very rewarding experience that it gives you as you drink it. Man, it's delicious. So now that we tried the Stag Junior Batch 18, let's try it side by side with the Colonel E.H. Taylor Batch 12 Barrel Proof. So here it is, the 131.1 proof, the Batch 12. Now I bring this up because I thought it would be an interesting side by side comparison. This one is also from Buffalo Trace. This is also from Buffalo Trace. Both bourbons are coming in, clocking in exactly at 131 proof. Well, this one is 131.1, but we'll just call it 131. So their proof is exactly about the same, almost identical. And they're same mash bill. So they're low rye, high corn mash bill coming from Buffalo Trace. So they're made from the same grain and same you know, composition of, of grains that the Buffalo Trace are, are putting in together. So on paper, these are almost exactly the same, if not basically the same. You know, same proof, same company, same makeup. There's no age statement on either of these two. So that could play a factor for sure. And I don't know, and nobody knows what exactly how many aged, how aged these two are. The only big difference that I could figure out is the rarity factor. Colonel H. Taylor Barrel Proof comes out once a year and it's relatively pretty hard to find. Very hard to find actually, not relatively. Very hard to find. Stag is also very hard to find, but it comes out nowadays three batches a year, three times a year. And it comes out whenever I saw a you know, Stag bottle come out at Total Wine or Bethlehem, it comes out in droves, it comes out in boxes. But for E.H. Taylor, Man, it, this one is hard to find. And when you do find it, it it's like a mad dash and there's only a box or so. So let's pour this E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Batch 12 and compare it with this Stag Junior Batch 18, which is exactly the same proof and see what's what. Is it better? Which one is a better one that I would choose? Let's find out. All right, here we go. Here is a Colonel E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Batch 12. Going for the nose. The nose seems a bit muted. Uh, compared to the stag. Yeah, the stag is a lot more jammy, more fruity. And it gives you that, it's more stimulating to your, to your, to your senses. And this one is slightly more lighter, but it's both equally sweet, at least on the nose. All right, let's go for a swig on the E.H. Teller Barrel Proof. Yeah, this one's hot too. This one's hot too but it's different. When this thing first hits your palate, it's equally hot, uh, without a doubt. It's 131 proof and I expect that, but the way it falls off is definitely different. For Stag, it's sort of like a gentle curve, sort of plateaus and goes down gently. For E.H. Taylor, it goes up and just decrescendos really fast, really fast. That finish is like half as good as Stag. More lighter fruits in this one and less of a mouthfeel. Very similar on the vanillas and the caramels and the butterscotch. Very similar on the, the sweetness. But again, it's the mouthfeel and the finish. Oh yeah. Guys, this is, comparing these two, this whiskey is noticeably thicker than the H. Taylor Barrel Proof. The stack, the mouthfeel, 
the thing the tingliness is just staying and just staying and when, as it tingles it just lets you experience all that fruitiness all that sweets and a little bit of spice it just lets you enjoy it smother your senses within your mouth again the sweets are about the same but if i could describe it differently feels like someone just threw a bunch of sweets and food in your face and just disappears and just ran off there's no absorption of all that flavor it's just gone hot and gone now it's not that bad I'm, I'm exaggerating here it's not gone as in like it's it completely disappeared but compared to the stag the mouthfeel and the, the coatiness and the thickness and the richness Colonel H the bear proof cannot compete with this one let's go for one more sip it is delicious though it is delicious typical buffalo trace profile feel the little deep cherry like a very ripe cherry squishy cherry notes but it just can't compete with the stag and its mouthfeel and its delivery of its finish oh man it's almost too noticeable all right guys that's all i have for you today i i would definitely pick the stag over the eh taylor barrel proof i know this one is a rare one i think this is actually more expensive than the stag but the experience i get from the stag is oh man it's it's twice as better as the kernel it, the beginning it starts smeller but i feel like it just the kernel just falls off way too fast whereas the stag gives you a little more time to enjoy all those flavors let you enjoy all those the tingliness and all the deep flavors that it gives you and if you could find a bottle of stag for 60 70 80 dollars maybe even 100 dollars versus this guy right here which costs you know uppers of 150 if, if you're lucky right definitely grab the stag you won't be disappointed and i highly recommend it over over the h taylor barrel proof any day so there it is guys that's all i got thanks so much again appreciate your time uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this episode do you like the stag better than the h taylor barrel proof comment down below and i'm happy to respond whenever i can so thanks again guys appreciate it have a good one see ya